Hello everybody, this is Blur13579 and welcome to the finale of Earthbound Zero. Hopefully. I... I'm not doing post-commentary so I don't exactly know what's going to happen yet, but if all goes well, this will be the finale. So, um, as I said in between episodes, I was going to do some training, and it didn't quite go as I thought it would. But anyway, so you can see there in antenna is level 25. Anna's level 30, which I don't... I think she might have gained one level, and Lloyd gained two, I think. And Nintendo gained three. So you might be wondering how that happened, because shouldn't Nintendo gain the least amount of levels if he's in the front? Well, yes, he should. See, what happened was... Anna and Lloyd both died, so Niten was getting all of the experience. And so at that point I decided I was going to go down to the house and heal them. I didn't even get halfway, and he was level 35. So I just turned around. So that's why the PP is so low. Because for one super healing it takes, I believe, around somewhere between 30 and 40 PP, I think, just to use it once. I'm just guessing though, I'm not saying that's exactly what it is, but something like that. But anyway, so yeah, Nintendo is level 35 and he is super healing. And that is all I really wanted. But now, we're going to continue up Mount Etoy and see what awaits us next. And just like that, we're in the battle with R7038XX. I think that was right, it wasn't on screen for a long time. Anyway. So, not really much warning, but this is pretty much just the battle between the robot and Eve. Um, you can see it's doing a lot of damage. This is the upgraded version of the uh, robot that we saw at the cabin. But pretty much, and even Eve is doing 4 damage to it. So, this is a battle between the robot and Eve, and pretty much we're just sitting in the background guarding, so let's see what happens. 35 damage. Aw, oh, Eve. No. The robot was destroyed. And we gain a lot of experience. Oh no, but Eve. Poor Eve. Can't talk to Eve. Robot Eve was demolished and move no more. But wait, examining the wreckage caused music to start, which <laughs> I know you just heard it, but it kind of starts right away as soon as you have the dialogue at that point. Nintendo remembered the tune, so wow, we actually got a melody from Eve. Now we're only missing one. But now, uh, now we're on Mount Etor at the top with no Eve. We're going to have to hope we don't get into a lot of battles. And if we do, we're just going to run from them. So let's keep going up. Oh, wow. <laughs> the easy enemy. Um... No, let's still run from it. So let's keep going. Um, this way, I guess. <laughs> it's still qu quite a maze up here. Oh, two gigaborgs. Oh, I'm just gonna fourth D slip, I think. I think I might only have enough PP left for one of those. Wait, what's that? Looks like a... a stone. Check. What the... Nintendo, welcome. I always believed that you would find your way here. Your great-grandmother Maria's love was scattered. Scattered in the form of melodies. I have a melody for you. Listen and remember. 
Nintendo remembered the tune. So we just got two melodies in two minutes. The crystal fragments that had broken off stopped glowing and disappeared. So now we have all eight melodies. Wow. Um so we're there's like nothing else for us to do really. So what what do we have up here? The stones are blocking, huh? Well, if we remember right, wasn't the queen in Magicant the one who wanted us to bring her the melodies? I think it was. Oops. So, let's use the onyx hook and go to Magicant. Yeah, I know it seems like a little bit of a distraction just going to Magicant. Um, let's heal first. Um, there's actually one place I want to visit in here before we go see the queen. Um, I think that it is this way. So where's our house? Isn't it here? Yeah, here it is. Okay. So let's talk to this person. Listen to my song, O oh music loving adventure Nintendo. Why do you cry, O oh Cupid doll? Canary sings so sadly. Monkey sings, piano plays, maybe there is a ghost. Desert cactus so alone, every night his sad sad tone. A dragon sleeps, the note remains. E's last song has no refrain. On the mount named Etoy, you must climb high, young boy. See the XX stone for the last tone. And do not leave Queen Mary alone. So... That person just tells you where all of the melodies are. In case you missed any, which we didn't, um, you can go there and find out where all of them are. But now, we are going to go to Queen Mary, and we're going to show her all the melodies we have. We're really closing up on this game, guys. You may not know it yet, but we really are. You know, I don't even care that we're getting into enemies so quick. Oh, we're actually taking damage. Oh well. Um. Shouldn't be a problem. Magic Snail A and B. You remember when we were in Magic Camp for the first time and we were coming along these enemies and we thought how tough they were? Yeah, now we're just going through and tossing them aside, pretty much. It really shows you how far you've come uh, from just being a boy in Podunk to going to Magicant, which is this dream world, and then coming back later and showing how much you've grown. It's, it's one of the things that makes this game feel so real like you're just a boy but you're you're still growing and getting better see you later yeah okay so let's head in the castle enjoy this music one last time go talk to Queen Mary here we go
And so Maria and Magicant both fade. After telling the story to Ninten, with a rush of wind, Queen Mary vanished. As she disappeared, so did Magicant. Magicant was, was a mirage, a mirage born of Maria's consciousness. So wow, a lot went on there. Um, we still have the All Eight Melodies, of course, and we're instantly teleported here, back to the XX Zone, with uh, full HP, and if we go up, we see the rock is now gone. So, really pleasant noise in here. What happens when we go in here? Get into a battle, of course. But wow, it seems as there's people in all these capsules. Oh, the darkness is so thick, can't see you very well. But could it be? Is the little girl from Snowman? Or is it? Yeah. Anna, I believe it was. Brace yourself, your mom is locked in a room in back. Do not try to rescue us now. First, the mother sh mothership must be destroyed. So, it seems that all the missing people were taken here, including Anna's mother. So, but we can't save them now. The mothership must be destroyed. So, as we walk up here, this is the final path. And in that door is the final challenge. So let us heal up from that one last battle we had. Um, we can finish off the big bag here. Because after this point we won't be using it anymore. And everyone is full. So, as we enter this doorway, we will begin the final battle. So let's go. So this looks like it's the mothership that the person in the uh, tube in the other room was talking about. But who could be behind it all? Well, here it is. The culprit himself. Gigu. Um, this is the final boss of Earthbound Zero, everyone. Um, the first thing I want to say is that Gigu and Gigas, the uh, final boss from Earthbound from Earthbound or, uh, yeah, are the same thing, same person, same alien. And so, the translation was just different in both games. So that's why this boss is Gigu, and Gigas is Gigas. Anyway, first thing we should do is put up shields. Um... Anna has shields too, but I want to say we'll put up a power shield. And then Lloyd guard. So as you progress through the battle, Gigu will talk to you. Ninten, I'm grateful to your family. For this first stage of the fight, you uh, are not going to be attacking, you're just going to be guarding and defending yourself. Now, every turn, Gigu will attack, and it'll say the same thing. The form of his attack was inexplicable. Oh wait, there was no effect, huh? So let's see how much damage this does now. form of Gigu's attack was inexplicable. So they're still doing 36 damage. Oh, 18, there we go. Oh yeah, because he didn't guard, right. Okay. 
So as if you see in the corner, there's a new command called sing. Um, you will uh, will be do using that in a second. But George stole vital information from our planet that can be used to betray my people. Hmm. Do you think that that information could be the inf the uh, power of PSI? That would make sense because he vanished, but then right when he returned, he went into an odd study. Hmm. So let's keep guarding. And now, one of his descendants is obstructing our plans and must be stopped. Intent, I'm talking about you. If you forget to put up a shield in this fight, it could be somewhat tough to withstand all of his attacks, but with the shield, it basically halves the damage. And, uh, especially when you're guarding, which halves it again. Yeah. Go home now. Perish with the rest of the ugly earth people. Who are you calling ugly ugly? So I think we'll heal once more with Anna. Foolish one, you cannot do a thing with your meager powers. Powers worthy of a lowly insect. Eventually, Gigu will stop talking to us. And that's when the real battle begins. I'll just heal again. Well, actually, let me uh, heal Anna, because Anna is not um, really getting any more HP. In 10, you alone, I may save you, just you alone. Board our mothership with me. But if you know Nin 10, especially what just went down with him and Anna in the cabin not that long ago. There's no way he would ever do that. And he wouldn't leave Lloyd either. Okay, we'll guard. Then fall into the long sleep with your friends and the other er ugly, ugh, and the other ugly earth people. So now, I believe that this is the point in the fight where you actually want to start doing something. Start using the sing command in the bottom corner. What does it do? Well, let's see what it does. So you see, the, uh, Gigu doesn't talk to you anymore, he just attacks right away. But it's the same attack, it does about 40 damage, and that's exactly what Anna's song heals. So you'll see that when you use the sing command, they try to sing the song. Because Queen Mary said that Gigu couldn't stand this song. But he, and it, it seems that that hasn't changed. He still cannot stand it. So let's keep trying. Stop, stop the song. Stop it, stop that song. 
Um, I think we can sing with Anna once. See, that shield is really helpful because it's, again, the attacks are doing half the damage they would normally be. So yes, every time you try to sing this song, it'll play from the beginning again and get a little bit farther in each time. Eventually... Um, eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to play the whole song for him and see what that does. Now, the Earthbound series has always been, um... Well, not known for, but prone to have final bosses that aren't, um, aren't, like, really intense fights. Usually the, the second final boss has, is the tough fight, and then the, the final fight has some form of other procedure to them. Like, for example, we're not attacking Giku at all. We're using the song. And in other games, I don't want to spoil anything, but um, that's just how it seems to be in this series. So let's keep trying to sing the song. At this point in the fight, we're probably, uh, good for healing, and we'll just keep singing it. You have to wonder, though, what makes Gigu hate this song so much? I mean, it's not that it brings back memories of Mary, because didn't Mary say that sh he hated the song even when she was with him? There must be something associated with this song that he just can't stand, but... I don't know, they never say what it is. Stop, please stop. You know what? I think this is gonna do it. So yeah, I don't think uh, we're gonna be worrying about damage anymore. I think Giku might just be done. So let's just listen to the song now. And if this is the second last attempt, then we'll listen to it one more time. And it looks like Gigu is done. How could I be defeated by a song like that? I will sometime. Ninten, we shall meet again. And we are healed. But not that it matters. And now we see the ship going back to its original spot. Oh, no. The ship takes off, and you see the whole thing. But that's all, everyone. At the summit of Mount Etoy, Anna is reunited with her mom as the rest of the three freed Earth people exit the cave. Teddy, his health fully recovered, now sings daily at the live show.
The kidnapped grown-ups return to their lonely children in Youngtown. Anna, I promise I won't forget you, so I will not say goodbye, just till we meet again. Lloyd returns to a hero's welcome at Twinkle Elementary School. Oh, that's nice, because before they always picked on him, but now he's the hero. Son, your sisters and I are so happy to see you back in one piece. How unbelievable that you are not hungry. A letter from Ninten. I miss him so much. I hope we can get together again soon. And you actually see Ninten smiling there, which you don't see in the whole game. How about that? It's nice. Well, now that the Earth's crisis is finally over, I think I'll just lay down for a moment and sleep. Which is actually the only time in the game that Ninten actually says anything. And now we have the uh, curtain call with all the characters. So, um... Something I want to say is that that ending was actually not in the original Mother. That ending was, um, first made for this Earthbound Zero game, and then when Mother 1 and 2 were re-released for GBA in Japan, they kept this ending. And I think that was a smart move, because this is a good ending. It really, uh closes off the game well. And also, this song right here is really good. Um, I really like it. It's the song I used for the uh, intro video for this series. But wow, I just, I just realized this game is done. We just beat it. And, oh man. Uh, that last boss was not actually that tough, but then again, that's one of the things I said was they're just kind of closing fights. They're not meant to be really like a test of everything you've learned so far, which is kind of strange to why they would do that, because that's what most final bosses are, but I'm not complaining. Um, in fact, I kind of like how they do that, especially in later games. Um, so as we see all the characters walking in front of the screen, those are the people from Magicant. And the guy we talked to in the house who told us all about the melodies. The Flying Men, I don't, yeah, I think we did something with the Flying Men. That was a while ago though. And Queen Mary. And our four heroes. So now we have the real credits, um, with all the names of all the people who worked on this game. And uh, let me just say that, I, well, um, this isn't one of my favorite games ever. Um, I really, I do like it a little bit because one of one of my favorite games is the sequels to this game. Did I say that right? Two of my favorite games are the sequels to this game, and this really does set it up. Um, set up the other two games. Um, I think what I mean by me not liking this game a whole lot is, is not the game itself, because actually I do like this game, but I've never really been a fan of NES RPGs. This is the only one I've ever played. Um, Player Blair, yeah. Uh, I've played Super Nintendo RPGs and GBA RPGs and uh, DS RPGs, I guess. But, you know, I've never really been into NES RPGs, but this is the one game that is an exception for me. I know that boy is home. Come on, son, and answer the phone. Something new has come up, and... So who is that? 
I think it's pretty obvious that it's Nintendo's dad. Um. Anyway, and with that, Earthbound Zero is officially done. So, I really appreciate all of you who have watched this whole series. Um, I have put a lot more effort into it than I did Super Mario Sunshine, and uh, I still know that I could do better. Um, maybe uh, for next time, well, if there is even going to be a next time, uh, I'll try to do it better, I think. The thing is that I don't always have the best opportunities to record episodes and edit episodes, but, you know, I try to do what I can, and if it's fun for me, then that's what really matters. And if it's fun for... If, if anybody watches this, anyone at all, and enjoys it, then that's what I can hope for. So, um, once again, thank you everyone for watching, and this has been Blur13579's playthrough of Earthbound Zero.